What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Dawn and Dreams. It is your lady, Ms. Z. Um, thank you for tuning in to another video. This is going to be another um, ancestral bone casting. Um, if you're not familiar with bone cast or if you want to know a little bit more about it, please go view my other video because I'm not going to spend too much time um, explaining it this time around. But basically, we throw the bones um, and our ancestors drive this reading. It's a very intuitive reading that we do. Um, and we let the ancestors guide us through the bones and the feathers and everything else that we have in the set. Okay. Um, so this is going to be another... Basically, you can pick number one or number two, but it'll basically be just a general message from the ancestors. There is a lot going on right now, especially with the um, the government shutdown, but I'm just going to apply this to everybody in the universe, <laughs> whatever it may apply to for you. So just listen for the messages that call to you within the number that you chose. Okay, so you can pick uh, number one and number or number two. And um, also, I'm going to add in some um, shamanic healing oracle for an additional message at the end for the ancestors so if you chose number one we're going to go ahead and get started if you chose number two you can fast forward to the timestamp okay so give me just a moment to channel and then we'll get started for number one down our foundation. It looks like you're separating yourself emotionally. There's someone here who's trying to find a spiritual connection. trying to find some financial freedom it looks like you're taking on that necessary evil to um, basically and what I mean by necessary evil is basically what you're doing to um, regardless of what anybody has to say outside of you you're taking on that approach to get what you want for things to grow so it seems like you're going to separate yourself in order to achieve that goal to walk in your path. It seems like there's also major recovery going on as well. Your mind and your heart are just kind of in two different places at the same time.
there's a need for more structure in your life, but willpower is coming because you have the ancestor of willpower and more structure for you to overcome some things in your world. But there's this energy of hurt. And I believe this is due to you trying to follow your path. You may be feeling blocked. grow for you you just have to maintain focus of your goals regardless of what anybody else says or what anybody else's input is on your beliefs and what you want to do spiritually for yourself and also financially you just kind of have to have your head where you want it where your head is where your heart is follow your heart follow your gut and the things that you want to do don't let anything outside of you mess up the goal that you have bring this bone to me this represents being separated from your knowledge I feel like it's simply just because you may be just blocked mentally when it comes to that or just afraid to go fully after what it is that you want to do so this is more so really spiritual for me it's a little bit financial but it's more spiritual so things will be changing for you I would say in the course of a month or a week but things are beginning for you Okay, so the last thing I want to do, so now I got to go on to number two. Let's pull one ancestor card to follow their message. to balance in the reverse so this just represents everything that's scattered around you just start bringing your plans together start following what your path is against what other people are thinking get into that grounding energy okay so that is it for number one so we're going to go on to number two i'm going to gather everything up again Number two, let's get started. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. 
So you more so need to have guidance with learning things, okay? Um, you may be getting into some new stuff and wanting to go faster than what it's wanting to teach you. So spiritually, um, and also getting into new things into your life, just take have patience with that. Just be patient. Um, you will obtain the knowledge that you're trying to learn. You will obtain the goal that you're trying to get to. You just kind of have to slow it down, all right? It's going to be there, and it's already there present in your life. Um, you're not in a rush to get to those um, that heightened experience that you want to get to. And it looks like you're taking it upon yourself to, you know, remove anything in your way to get to this knowledge, to be secure, to have that title um, or that achievement. But you will get that achievement. Just, you know, just let it ride out. All right. Um, It looks like there's going to be a change in investments for you. What you invest your time and energy to, there's going to be a change and it's due to an emotional breakthrough for you. This is the direction that you're going in. What's guarding your spirit right now, you have growth, love. Also, your craft, wanting to focus on um, creating. You also have your soul mission close by, so that's always a good sign. But you have the number six right here, and that is of completion, but that's also of a long journey. It just shows that you're overstressing yourself out to get to these accomplishments when they will happen as they should. You have the ancestor here telling you that you're going to get over any difficult time that you're going through. There's a want and need to break free financially. So you want to break through. And I guess that's why you're going so hard in all other areas. But this will come. Um, it's just, you know, it's just gradually pushing through. Just keep the same mindset. Be consistent with your work. Also, pay attention to health. It looks like, in a way, you kind of feel emotionally separated, and too. But for you, I think things are going to progress. It's just your belief that it's not. So, let's go ahead and get your ancestor message to follow this. things don't happen fast enough for you you tend to lose hope okay so you have ancient wisdom and also new beginnings so the things that are coming to you those eggs have been you know planted well i don't want to say planted but those eggs will soon crack into new beginnings and you also have ancient wisdom so the knowledge that you're trying to gain is also present here too you will access that knowledge and you will have new beginnings coming um you just have to stick with it and don't be impatient to those goals all right guys so that is your reading bone casting thank you so much for joining me make sure you like and um, subscribe to my channel if you want a reading go to dawnandreams.com and peace out